Hi everyone, welcome to our demonstration of passive transport by diffusion. As we know, diffusion is the movement of molecules, such as gas molecules or liquid molecules, that move from areas of high concentration to areas of lower concentrations without the use of energy. So to show this, what I've done is I've set up two beakers, and in each beaker we have what are called cells. The cells are just pieces of dialysis tubing that have been tied off and filled up with chemical color indicators. So in the cell on the left we have a chemical indicator or color indicator called iodine and then in the cell on the right we have blue dye. This will allow us to see the process of diffusion happening. As we know, diffusion moves from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. To identify this using colors is pretty simple. The areas that have a lot more color molecules are going to be darker than the areas that have less color molecules. Inside the cell, in the iodine, we have a dark brown, a light brown color, or maybe a dark orange color. And inside the blue cell, we have a dark blue color. Since they are darker in color, these are our areas of high concentrations, which is what the H stands for. Now, I haven't put any of these chemicals out into the water surrounding them, so obviously those areas have less chemical molecules in them. So this is going to set up our areas of low concentration. Now what we have here is what's called our concentration gradient. Okay, a concentration gradient is just where there are two areas that have different concentrations of materials. Inside the cell there's high concentrations of color molecules. Outside the cell there are less color molecules. So that makes our concentration gradient. And as we know, diffusion moves along with the concentration gradient. So let's take a look at what happens to the movement as time goes on. At 10 minutes, if you observe the water, you'll see that the water is starting to change color. Okay, It has more of an orange color to it, as opposed to the super clear color that it had before. The same thing goes for our blue water here. If we observe the water after 20 minutes, we'll notice that the water is changing color again. This time, the iodine is becoming darker, and also the blue is starting to show signs of becoming darker. And then after 60 minutes, we'll notice that there's a drastic difference. So if we compare the beakers after 60 minutes in color with the beakers at the start at 0 minutes, we can see that the color of the water outside of the cell was clear, just as water is, and then after 60 minutes they turned darker orange and a, and a nice blue color. And here's the reason why. In the beginning, what we did is we set up what I called our concentration gradient. So inside the cell, you had your high concentration of color molecules. Outside of the cell, we didn't have any, so we had our low concentration. As a result, because diffusion moves from areas of high concentration to areas of low, the color molecules move through the bag and out into the water. The reason why they're able to move through the bag and into the water is because the dialysis bag is very much like your cell membrane in that it's selectively permeable. Selectively permeable means that it allows certain things in and out while it keeps out other things. So the dialysis bag has little pores or little openings that allows your color molecules, the iodine and the blue dye, to pass through. So because diffusion always wants to create a state of equilibrium where everything is equal, you're going to have your movement of molecules from the high concentration inside of the bag to areas of low concentration outside of the bag, thus changing the color of the water outside of the cell. So this is the movement of molecules from high concentration to low by diffusion. 